just to be playing that Paul test hand. wants me to be every moment of every day every moment of every day Lord, I am ready to obey I am ready Jesus, I'm ready to obey My name is Bishop. Let us pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are Lord of Lord, the King of Kings. We thank you, Lord, because of your mercy. We thank you, Lord, because of your endurance. We thank you, Lord, because of your grace upon us. Father, we are here this evening. We pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Every one of us, you will meet us at the point of our need in Jesus' name. Let's say amen. Father, we have come, I pray, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, no one among us will go empty-handed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. By the time we shall live here, Lord, more than your expectation, you will meet us in Jesus' name. Do not let our efforts, all our coming here, and go out be in vain. We pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, you will make us you will let us make it to the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us rise all which are sent from him 189. In 189. We are using almost three hours. On Monday, we use almost three hours or two hours on Sunday. Ask yourself, if Jesus comes now, if you close your eyes now, in one of our, I don't know if any one of us have watched it, in one of our YouTube, the one we use as a uh, for first comma or something like that. You will see Sister Rita said what I mean. Sister Lisa said one thing I know. After I know there's a place for me. After this world, I'm going somewhere else. What which is heaven? I wish every one of us would go and listen to that video. She said it with boldness. She said it with the, uh, this is my life, oh God. I cannot undo it myself, but here I am. Anytime you get home, I want you to look at our YouTube. Just type my name or the name of Deepa Labe Church. You will see where every one of us talk, we talk about the Deepa Labe Church of Charlotte. You will hear his message. Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty Father, I want to make it to heaven. You can see me sometimes, I be straight. I saw some people, they just believe we are coming to the Palabible Church to come and play, to come and eat, to just uh, with this thing that we are uh, at that time. No! I thank God for today that I even able to sleep for about eight hours. Many days I sleep only three hours out of 24. Three hours out of 24. Because of my family, 
because of the ministry, because of the circular job, because of all you things you see that we are enjoying. Then, if we do all that, including you, in the night, we risk our life. In the morning, we risk our life. During the rain, we risk our life. How are we are okay? We are not okay. We want to be in the church. Then, at the end, when we close our eyes, by the grace of the Lord, we will not go to hell in Jesus' name. Examine yourself. What is that thing? That can lead you, that can take you to hell. Present it before God today. That Father, according to your faith, I undo everything onto your hand. Father, help me, O Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. If you have not known Jesus Christ, you are just seeing him. Just because everybody says we are coming to the church, you, you too you are coming to the church. Stealing, fornication, adultery, babiting, being careless. Don't worry. Influencing all that to do not know God is still in our life. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, take them away from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. You can't do it. You cannot do it alone. The only thing you can do is go to your beside your bed. Kneel down. Tell God. Father, I want you to find me afresh. God will rescue you. No matter what the situation may be. No matter what your sickness may be. No matter where you are coming from. If he can rescue the our Lord, what about you? What about me? He will rescue you. He will rescue me. It internally, earthly, heavenly, Externally, you will not die. Call upon the name of the Lord that He will wash you with His blood. The Bible says, When I see the blood, I will pass over, over you. Call upon Him. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, King or King, Lord of Lord. We wash you with his blood. Call upon the name of the Lord for me or my family, especially for your servant that before you, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, my efforts, my running in and there, my not resting, if we not be in vain, that when we get to the kingdom of God, you will see me, I will see you there. We will see our GS. We will see our arrow. Call upon the name of the Lord. That at the end of your life, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will take you home. Angel will take you home. And you will see that heaven. You will see Paul. You will see Moses. You will see Solomon. You will see Joshua. You will see James in the Bible. You will see John. You will see Andrew. You will see Nathaniel. You will see Isaiah. You will see Naum. You will see Amos. You will see Solomon. You will see David. And they will work on your own. How joy is going to be. How joy is going to be. I will sing in my language. I want which may the angel, they welcome me home. They say, Welcome, welcome. How is it going to be the day you get home? I want girl your mommy. I want me quabo. But when you say don't Lord your team badly. That's me the angel. They welcome me when I get to the heaven. How is it going to be when I get there? I will see you. You will see me. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's say amen. Let us be seated. I want to tell us some things. I 
I saw all some of us we get distracted a bit, or when the pastor have called the Bible, we miss it. Like what I always do is that immediately pastor called the Bible, I write it down first. You get what I'm saying? If you say look one twenty one, so before he open it himself, I write it down. Because by the time he says something else, I may be distracted or forget what he has called. So I quickly, you, you know, keep it. You can just be bringing it every week so that you can be reading your Bible. You can underline it. When you see my Bible, look. I doubt if there's any place you see I will not underline. Yeah. You see? You underline so that you will not forget that this, whatever you do, you don't forget. So what I do is I immediately call, I write it down. If you say look 121, I quickly write it down. Now after I will not be looking for it. I say if it's very good if you have notebook like this. You see? So when one pastor is talking about Bible or something important to you, you jot it down. Like all the verses he called today, you can see it's all of them. This is all of them. So, so some people may even ask you. What did you do in the church today? The ministry of fellowship, uh, uh, the, the ministry of fellowship in gospel propaganda. You, you all those things you write it down so that if anybody asks you, you will be to all the security of promise of faith. That's the ministry of gospel is the last week. Today, the superiority of promise of faith above the law of Moses. So if anybody asks me, what did you do today? I will quickly go back to this, even if I forget that this is what we do today. Uh, the pen, as I told you, you can use it to underline, write whatever the pastor called them. Ah, please, let us continue to invite people. Yesterday when I went to the Sabi house, I saw a woman run after me. Uh, that about three days ago, I saw somebody in, in Akin Women School ran after me because of the car. You know, the Palabra Church in the, in the Feco. Uh, another thing, yeah, Akin Women invited somebody here yesterday, Sister Lisa and the Badimentary Columbia Hospital. So let us continue to invite people. We are not the church guy, they are the jumping, the rolling on the floor. He wrote their leg. We are here to study the Bible. Every one of you know. We are here to, and then that's why. And that's why sometimes people have just decided that it's like we are not ready to listen to the Bible with us. And if you are not ready to listen, I'm not ready to sacrifice my life. I can't sacrifice my life a lot longer. So uh, Jesus sacrificed his life for us to be saved. So whatever we are doing for other we do it for that we they, they can be saved. And God will save everyone of us in Jesus' name. We not only be jumping, we will not be eating our leg on the we love go, hey hallelujah. We know what we come from. We come from Bible study. We come to hear the word of the Lord. And that's why we are here. So I thought to please invite women, men, adults, young adults, uh, Youth, in fact, then, and God is going to help us in Jesus' so name. Uh -huh. The sister Lisa talked about a left message for me about Bible study at line. Before we always print Bible study at line, uh, Brad James too have asked about it once. Uh, what the pastor discovered is that because of the Bible at line, many people they don't open their Bible, they don't read it. So I think that's why the headquarters come together. They stop it. But sometimes somebody send it to me from the UK. That's when if he asked the oldest, the oldest one, the older one, but he has not been sending it. Another thing is that my even my printing machine. I just bought another computer and the printing machine I'm not able to get the software that connect two of them together. So that one too discouraged me. But as time I, I listen to your message, sister Lisa. And I will walk on it uh, in Jesus' name. Uh, also, when pastor is talking, when pastor is preaching, only look at the. Because you miss it, you will see that you will always take notes. So let's say pastor say the book of Acts, chapter 4, and then you want to write it, but you have been saying something. There's nothing 
went to my head. And then you forget the Bible. God is going to help us in Jesus. Apart from microwave, we are looking for microwave. Who else need any other time? No, 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 for right now. No, we have not got it. I have not got it. I will still work on it. Yeah. Philadelphia, where are you going? Take them along. Bra Dimitri, are you hearing me? As you are traveling. I said to two. What are you doing? Take them, give it out. Give it out. When you when you go out, give it out. It doesn't cost you anything. People will say, Oh, this is a good believer. Because when you go to the market, you get because you don't able to share it. You know why? You know why now? You know. So God will help us in Jesus. Uh, let us bring our title offering. Jesus name we pray. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because you are God of God. We thank you, Lord, because of your mercy upon us. We thank you, Lord, because of what you are doing for us. We thank you, Lord, because of what you will still continue to do. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. And after what you have given to us, we bring this token. Let it be acceptable before you in the name of Jesus Christ. And let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Close your eye. Do not look at anybody if they give the title offering. All what you need to do is to look at yourself. Examine yourself if you are doing enough for God works. And God is going to help us. God is going to help me in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Let's share the grace together. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Please, all what is on the table is for you, not for me. I bring them there. I just put it on the table. I will take it. Okay. So please, and take two soda each. Take whatever you need on the table. Apart from oh, it's full. Brajon, uh, please help me, help me. Uh, then. Thank you. That place has been so wet that they. So please, Mr. John, Mr. James, help me with the water first.
And we're just praying, Lord, that from the, this very night, as we look at the pages of the scriptures, you'll move mightily in our midst in Jesus' name. Open our understanding that we may understand, comprehend, perceive what you are teaching us from your watch in Jesus' name. And when your ministers, your servants, when they come in here and they declare the word, the truth of the word, we pray, no, Lord, our hearts will be like fertile soil, fertile ground, that will receive the totality of your word without any hindrance in Jesus' name. Make us alive at a lurch, waiting, willing to receive all that you send our way in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that tonight you'll be with us and your words will enrich our hearts and lives. Thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everybody said, yeah. Amen. In Ephesians chapter 6, I'm reading to you from verse 10. Ephesians 6, reading to you from verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that she may be able to stand, withstand in the evil day, and having done all to do what? To stand. Tonight I'm talking to you on God's ammo for ministers. We did was unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord for as much as she know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. The labor of all church workers shall never be in vain, as our Father, the Father of all globally, the convener of GCK, Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumuyi, gives us the Global Church Workers Conference, live from Taraba State, Nigeria. All church workers and ministers globally to join hands with all ministers across Taraba State, Northern Nigeria from 17 to 20 November 2022. It's our time for triumphing in ministry, even in troublous times. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi will be ministering 8 a.m. daily from Jalingo, Taraba State, to the world, via satellite, and on all our social media platforms. It will be an avalanche of global expositions and revelations. Your labor will not be in vain. When we started the year 2022, you had hopes, you had desires, you had dreams, but suddenly, all over the globe, we read and hear of failures economically, politically, with climate change and security breaches here and there. And now, I hear a voice echoing towards the northeastern geopolitical zone of Nigeria. Now, I hear a voice echoing towards the northeastern geopolitical zone of Nigeria. Today, the Lord is saying, weep not. All your tears are dried, because behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed. And it's confirmed that there's still one hope, one way, one solution, and one power that never fails. The power of Jesus Christ reverberates this November with GCK live from Adamawa State, Nigeria. The land of beauty set to beautify your life through Christ. As the covenant of GCK, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi will touch down in Adamawa, Nigeria with a power that never fails. Healing, deliverance, salvation. November 24 to 29, 2022. 1600 hours GMT daily. 
and 0700 hours GMT for Sunday worship service. Young people from all levels will be empowered for excellence at the Impact Academy on November 26, 2022 at 0600 hours GMT. Ministers and professionals will be empowered for breakthrough in ministry on November 25, 26, 28 and 29 at 0600 hours GMT. Our guest gospel minister is Bob Feets. This is an avalanche of manifestation of the power that never fails. For all lie, power will herald your celebration. Dr. William Kumui says, Be it confirmed in your life in Jesus' name. GCK, the gospel to every creature. Oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your name in all the earth. In all the earth, how excellent is your name. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God for his mercies. Praise God. Amen. Praise God for his goodness. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, amen. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. Amen. We are serving a living God. Amen. Amen. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. We are serving a living God. Amen. We are serving a living God who is able to do all things. We are serving a living God. Amen. 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 We are able to do all things. We are serving a living God. Amen. Will you praise the Lord with me? Sisters, praise the Lord with me. Oh, brothers, praise the Lord with me. Everybody praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Sing amen. 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 Sing amen. 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 Will you praise the Lord with me? Oh, come and praise the Lord with me. Oh, church, praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Everybody praise the Lord with me. Hallelujah. Sing amen. 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 Sing amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. I stand upon the word of God. I stand upon the word of God. Oh, the word of God can never fail. I am trusting in the word of God. I believe in the word of God. I am standing upon the word of God. Oh, I am standing upon the word of God. I am standing upon the word of God. The word of God is power. Touch him and be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. The Son of God is passing by. Now, just now, he will hear your prayer. So touch him and be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. Be made whole. Touch him and be made whole. The Son of God is passing by. Now, just now, he will hear. Touch him and be made whole. 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 The Son of God is passing by. Now, just now, he will hear your prayer. So touch him and be made whole. We need your touch, oh Lord, today. Restore, refresh, revive every soul today. We need your touch, oh Lord, we pray. Refresh, renew, revive every soul. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Touch me one more time, O oh Lord. Touch me one more time, Lord. Touch me one more time, I pray. I need a touch of the master. I need a touch of the Lord. Oh, touch me one more time. Touch me one more time, oh Lord. Time, oh Lord, I pray. I need a touch of the master. Ask me not, O oh gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. While on others thou art touching, Lord, do not pass me by. Savior, don't pass me by. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. Hear my humble cry. Do not pass me by, Savior. Don't pass me by, Savior. Oh, Savior, hear my humble cry. Hear my humble cry. Do not pass me. Power, power belongs to God. Power, power 
belong to God. All power belong to Jesus. Power to heal belong to God. Power to save belong to Jesus. All power belong to God. Power, power belong to God. Power, power belong to God. The man of Calvary. Oh yes, tonight, the man of Calvary, yes, in my life and in your life, he will do it again, Jesus of Nazareth, oh yes, I know, he will do it again, the man of Calvary. Oh, yes, I know. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe, yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me, it is well with me. Yes, it is well with us. Yes, it is well with me. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe it is well. Oh, it is well with me. My prayer is don't pass me by. Don't pass me by. Don't pass me by, my prayer is, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, oh Lord. Don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, Lord. Don't pass me by, don't pass me by, my prayer is. Don't pass me, don't pass me by. My prayer is. Don't pass me by, Lord, don't pass me by, don't pass me by. My prayer is, don't pass me by, don't pass me by, don't pass me by. My prayer is, don't pass me by. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying us, high onward bound. Lord, plant my feet. On higher ground, Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table land where love and joy. Lord, lift me up, Lord, lift me up. And let me stand. Stand. 
Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, through eternal ages, let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and sing. Standing on the promises of God, are you standing? Standing. Standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Are you standing? Standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Standing, I am standing. I am standing on the promises of God. God can do all things, amen, he can do all things, our God can do all things, amen, he can do all things, oh God can do all things, Jesus can do all things, amen, he can do all things, amen, he can never ever fail, he can never ever fail, he can never ever fail, Jesus the same forever. He can never ever fail. My God will never, never change. He can never ever fail. Jesus the same forever, forever. He can never ever change. He can never ever fail. He can never ever fail. Jesus the same forever, forever. Don't allow me, Lord. Don't allow me, Lord. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go empty-handed. Don't allow me, Lord. Do not allow me, Lord. Don't allow me, Jesus, to go an empty-handed. My life shall be a testimony, testimony, testimony. My life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the Lord, of the Lord. Testimony, testimony. Testimony, my life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the glory of the Lord. My life shall be a testimony, testimony to the glory of the Lord. Do something new in my life, something new in my life, something new in my life. Oh Lord, do something new in my life, something new. My life, something new in my life. Oh Lord, I pray. Cannot fail. Is here in a city, is at work. If you have been waiting for your own, waiting will be no more. Where are you? 
I said, they will be waiting no more in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name tonight. Thank you because you are still on the throne. And you are there for your children. I'm asking right now, Lord, this moment, nobody will miss your touch in Jesus' name. Every problem, you will solve. Sickness, you will heal. Oppression, you will break. All impossibilities will become possible. Lord, this night for your people will be the night of their miracle. The night of your power. And we pray, Lord, with joy, with singing, happiness. Everybody will go back to bed tonight in Jesus' name. Open the windows of heaven. Shower your blessings upon your people. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Very quickly, Job chapter 22. Job chapter 22, verse 28. Job chapter 22. Verse 28, it says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. As we come again tonight, I'm speaking to you, on the miracle of the believer's decree. The miracle of the believer's decree. You know, when we come and we're united with God, united with a God that cannot fail, converted unto the God that cannot fail, connected to the God that cannot fail, putting our confidence in the God that cannot fail, that attribute of God that he cannot fail, the supernatural God, the mighty God, the powerful God, that attribute of God passes on to us because we're converted by him, we're connected to him, we're consecrated to him, we have confidence in him. That's why as you stand as a believer, a believer in the God that cannot fail, the word of God in your mouth will be power, will form authority, and then you'll decree a thing. It shall be established tonight. Your decree will be established in Jesus' name. Look at this again. Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. When it says thou, what does that mean? When it says thou, who is it referring to? When it says you are the man, you are the woman, to decree a sin. And when you decree that sin, there will be establishment. It will be done. Let's see who the people are. Look at it in verse 21. Acquaint now thyself with him, and be at peace, whereby good shall come unto thee. Acquaintances of God. They are not people who are far away in the wilderness of sin. They are people who are brought near by reconciliation of the Lord Jesus Christ. They are the people who have come near by the atonement of the blood of Jesus. There are, there are people who have become acquainted with the Lord, intimate with the Lord, reconciled with God. They are the children of God. Acquaint now thyself with him. And it says, it is that acquaintance with the Lord that will bring this good thing in your life. Look at it in verse 22. Receive, I pray thee, the Lord from his mouth and lay up his words in your heart. 
these people that shall decree a sin, it shall be established unto them. They are the people that receive the word of the Lord. Every command of the Lord they receive. Every promise of the Lord they receive. Every warning of the Lord they receive. And every statement of the word of God, they receive. They know that's my father talking to me. That's my king talking to me. That's my savior talking to me. And the people that receive the word of God like that at face value. And they're not sifting. I accept this. I reject this. I own this. I disown that. I subtract this. I add that. But the people that receive the word of God and they say, God has spoken. I accept that. I believe that I receive that. And that set your seed for me. Those are the people that will decree. And I'm giving you the challenge tonight that you will be the man that will decree. I give you the challenge tonight. You will be the woman that will decree in Jesus' name. Then it goes on to say in verse 23, If thou return unto the Almighty, the, the people that will decree, that the people that return to the Almighty, they know that the God I'm returning to is the Almighty, is the Most High, is the God of all possibilities, is the God of all power. If thou return to the Almighty, that the people that, like the prodigal son, they left the far country and they say, I return, I return. With all my heart, I return. With all my might, I return. I've wandered long enough in the wilderness. Now I return. The people that return to the Almighty, and they say, I'm now dwelling in the presence of the Most High. I rejoice in His Word. I accept His truth. I live by the principle coming out of His mouth. Those people that return from the Almighty to the Almighty God, they are the people the Lord is saying, yeah, Thou shalt decree a thing. How I pray you'll be the man tonight. How I pray you'll be the woman tonight. That you say, I have returned. Look at verse 23. It says, Thou shalt thou shall be built up. The Lord will build you up. He will build your house. He will build your wife. He'll build your husband. He will build up your children. He will build your family. He will build your business. Everything you touch will be built up and well constructed in Jesus' name. In verse 23, And thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Those are the people where you put iniquity far away from your tabernacle. Satan has nothing to claim in your life anymore. When you stand in authority, Satan cannot say, shut up, who are you? Paul I know, and Jesus I know, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. He cannot say that anymore because he has no property inside your house. He has no secret inside your paws. He has no tobacco inside you. He has no alcohol inside your fridge. He has no whatever exhibit inside you. You are put iniquity far away from you. Stolen materials are no more there. These are the people. The righteous is as bold as a lion. And when you say the devil comment, that evil one comment, the God of this world comment, he has nothing in me. You'll be bold as a lion. And with that authority and confidence and faith and purity and holiness, you stand up and you decree a thing. Heaven will stand at attention when you talk. Tonight is that night. I said tonight is that night. You put iniquity far away from you. It says in verse 24, Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust. Prosperity is coming your way. And the gold of offer as the, as the stones of the brooks. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense. I want to personalize that. The Almighty shall be my defense. Where are you saying for yourself? The Almighty shall be my defense. Say that again. Let everybody around you hear that you are not alone. Let them know there's a wall of fire around you. 
let the devil know he cannot penetrate into that bloodline anymore. The blood of Jesus encircles you. The fire of the Holy Ghost surrounds you. And it's like a wall. And it surrounds you. And no evil can penetrate your life anymore in Jesus' name. He will be your defender. Underneath you will be the everlasting arms. Over you will be the umbrella of the Lord. All around you will be the wall of fire. And you are secured from every evil in Jesus' name. This man we're talking about is a man that is separated from all the pollutions of the earth. And because of that separation and salvation that is not totally given to the Lord, that is why he stands and then he says, every problem around me, every problem in my family, I make a decree tonight. Be getting ready and making up your mind. What are you going to decree tonight? Because if you decree that there will be no sickness in your body, it is established. If you decree that poverty is gone, it is established. If you decree that all those evil things that maybe made, made you to be, you know, so submissive and so subjected and you were a slave to all those problems, said, I'm not going to be a slave anymore. I'm not going to be a coward anymore. I now take my chance and I stand my ground. Everything that is evil, I cancel tonight and I decree this thing. It is going to be established.